I did some damage, but... Okay, fine. Fine, we're gonna play it that way. Fine. It's like they're from another dimension. I must say, I am impressed. Reen, you're displaying an admirable degree of control over your powers. And Laura, your mastery of the Radiant Blade grows by the day, even though you're knocked out for most of it. Sir? Thank you both for the training. Oh, you're too kind. It was my pleasure. Master, I'm afraid I must take my leave. Laura, Purple Lightning, Sylphine, I'm sure I'll see you all again soon. Oh god, that was actually scary, I gotta be honest. Just like, both of them turning to me and being like, Hey, I heard you hadn't played in a while. And like, no. No! <laughs> she certainly knows how to make an exit. Perhaps it's time for me to do the same. Father? Viscount Arsade, you're not saying. I am. My blade has stolen considerably. I first noticed it a year and a half ago. Wait. The Infernal Castle? The Blazing Demon did this to you? Yes, these black flames have taken a toll on my respiratory system. I'm fortunate in that it only affected my swordsmanship, but I do not believe I will ever fully recover. Oh. Wow, that's some... That's some damage. This is a concern, but not an issue. What do you mean? A sword is not the only means of cutting down an opponent. All you need is purpose and opportunity. Discover these, and you'll find a blade sharper than any steel. <laughs> Though I'm sure you all know that full well. Pardon the intrusion. We heard that we had some special guests, so we just stopped by. <laughs> Though to be honest, we've been watching since the middle of your fight. Seriously, how do people even get that strong? I was unable to measure their power. I should have recorded that fight. Ah, guys. I was so focused on the fight, I didn't even notice them. Oh yeah, I don't think I would have even tried to notice anything outside. Well, I hope you're all able to learn something. It was a master class. By the way, Viscount, it's been quite some time since we last met. Ah, oh, yes. Back in Heimdall, was it not? Mateus and Laura told me that you had taken up the Vander Dual Blade style. Is that right? It is. You have a legacy to uphold. They say Roland Vander was an exceptional dual blade user. Ah. Uh, wasn't he? Prince Draco's friend and confidant. Interesting. As a matter of fact, you all have an air of aptitude about you. Tell me, Reen, are they yours? Oh, yeah, I've just been having so many kids lately. <laughs> that they are. Uh, Viscount, allow me to introduce you to the new Class 7. Oh, boy. Oh, that was fun. Well then, Sarah, we shall be going on ahead. We'll be waiting in Heimdall for you. Gotcha. I'll probably roll up sometime this evening. Thanks for all, all uh, thanks for all the hard work, Mr. Viscount. You yeah, gotta check in the exchange shop, Nine Folly, right? Oh, you gonna go see Jingo? That shop's got connections to the Bracer Guild. On top of that, they're plugged into the informant network. Sometimes, even make deals with the Jaegers, too. Oh, I've just got a message from an informant friend of mine named Mitch. Sounds very, 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 very familiar. I'm not remembering where, though. But don't you worry your pretty little head over it. <laughs> Sorry, but that ain't happening. Oh, him! 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 Fuck that man. <laughs> we may need to investigate such an intriguing shop. 
As I'm sure you're already aware, everyone is to meet at Heimzone, yourselves included. Seems we'll be able to fulfill our promise at last. Yep, yeah, I suppose we can call it the Goddess's Guidance. So, every from, uh, so everyone from Class 7 is going to be there in the end? Oh, okay. I'll get in touch with the others tonight. Gotcha, thanks. There's some things I want to talk about, but I'll wait until then. Eh? I heard from Sarah about the boss, so you know, Leo. And also, that man with the mask. Ah. In addition, I've heard news of the Steel Maiden, but it's quite perplexing. Judging by what I was told, she seems to be illegitimate. The ice in our family's name was taken from the Maiden's own family name, Senlan. In that sense, it could be said that we bear some relation to her. However, we must leave this topic for another day. S in your name? Huh. Sure? That's weird. A letter. I'm guessing it has more to- it's more something in Japanese, right? Where, like, a specific character was taken in order to form a name. Our duty is in- uh, our duty now is to prepare for the crisis currently awaiting us. Yes, sir. Roger that. Well then, I'm off to take care of some business myself. I'm planning to hop right on the train afterwards, so let's say a uh, tearful farewells now. Sure thing. We'll see you again soon. Thank you all for your help. That wasn't tearful enough! No. <laughs> what are you guys talking? Sounds like our next few exercises are gonna be in Heimdall. Oopsie. Yeah, we were careless. I see. Now I understand. <laughs> Looking at the schedule, I expected another uh, to be announced soon. Oh, please keep it secret from everyone else, okay? It'll be announced on Wednesday along with the schedule and all the details. No worries, our lips are sealed. Hey, Tina! <laughs> uh, until the academy and the students split up to, uh, to each see their own business. It's already evening. Seems a little too early to go back to the dorm, though. I'm not likely to have a lot of free time to start next week, so I'd probably better take care of things right now. Man, today's match sure was an unexpected blessing. I feel like I could finally apply the things I learned during my match with the Maiden. What did I learn? I learned... Ooh, cool. Really? Green's... Wait, Green's what? Oh, like the... Green's headset. Message on this Arcus. Sure, who wants to hang out? Emma! Interesting. Oh, I have two. And there's Sarah, Musei, Kurt. Okay, so two for four. Okay, well. Interesting thought. Uh. Alright, got let's it! Let's see this headset at the very let's see that let's see this headset at the very least. Ah. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, well, I was not planning to record more from two hours or so, which is around where I'm at, so... Again, I want to record in slower burst until it gets to a point where it's just like, Oh, I want to keep playing, I want to keep playing! Which, these early parts in the chapter are usually slow enough that it's easy enough to walk away for a good amount of time. So, uh, sure. So, I'll see you all next time, where I hang out with some people, and maybe there's a hidden quest, I don't know. So... I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. Hello and welcome back. I've been in between episodes readjusting a little bit of my setup. I really didn't touch Rain too much. He's been... I feel like he's in a very good place, all things considered. It is interesting that how much you can stack uh, upon each other for evasion things. So you have Sirius, which... Increases your damage on counterattacks by 600% at level 7. You can also get Rage, which also, while also increasing your evasion, counterattacks after evading always deal critical damage. I've had this on him for a while, but... And I understand it could be more effective if I put on someone with more range to their counterattack. But, eh. 
Uh, I didn't switch up too much for Yuna. Mainly, I switched out... I had Regulus, which got CP up when damaged, which made some sense in terms of the previous idea being that she had a lot of HP and she'd be, you know, sort of taking a lot of damage, get CP back, use that CP. And then I thought, ah, I don't really think I'm making much use of that. So the idea that came to mind after that would be to go to something that gets HP back. So basically, basically give her the role of always having high HP. Uh, didn't do much to uh, Kurt. Liked his setup. Status is in high attack. Atina, I switched up a bit. Just the same idea. But I re... Kept the Master Quartz. Readjusted exactly which Quartz I was using to achieve the same basic thing. Also, threw in uh, an HP in there since I had room now. Uh, in comparison to some of the uh, previous setups. Since I unlocked some of the arts I was trying to get uh, via the Master Quartz. So she doesn't have terrible, terrible health anymore. It's just okay. Now Kurt's like the weak link in terms of health now. <laughs> uh, say not much. Just sort of tried to put more improved ones on her. Uh, added a water bell too. Because I previously just had the golden bell. See, one thing I'm not sure about. No one's answered. I don't remember if I've even brought it up before and... I never found anything that seemed to answer the question, is if the delay from a Master Quartz, the, like, d delay reduction to half, and the bells, do they stack, basically? Can they stack? I don't actually know then. And for uh, Ash, basically, I, I increased the, uh... I increased his attack a little bit, readjusting things, and I think that's the main takeaway. Not a whole lot of fundamental changes, mainly just improving on what I already had set up. Been a while since I actually uh, did much with all that. Yeah, a lot of people aren't going to fit in that. <laughs> like, legitimately, those are made for, like, her leg length. Oh boy. Hmm. And I see a Vantage Masters up there. Oh god, really you? Matches masters, hmm? Well, it serves as a decent brain exercise at the least. Is that Vantage Masters, Professor? I didn't know you played too. <laughs> I'm not one for childish games, but I've been known to play chess and Bakaman to fire up my neurons from time to time. My third disciple told me it was a rather well designed game, so I decided to pick it up. So George recommended it to you. I see. In any case, I assume he plays well, am I wrong? I'd like to test just how skilled you really are. Uh, sure, I don't mind, but... <laughs> I never thought that I'd pl uh, end up playing a game against the professor. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, I suppose won't, one game won't kill me. You're the one who wanted to play! Uh... Well... He has easily been the better opponent out of, like... No, oh, interesting. Like, interestingly, he has been legitimately the best one out of, like, everyone I faced. I actually lost him the first time. His strategy seemed to be basically along the lines of he did something, and I'm not really sure how, where he overwhelmed the field with just tons of cards that I could not keep up with. Yeah, I'm not really sure. He had something in his setup that allowed him to just, like, get tons of cards out there and just start dealing down chip damage. It sort of, it actually was a fairly good counter to my typical strategy uh, in that. Basically, instead of clearing, like, normally I try to get a few, like, I try to bulk up one, get a few more out there, and just uh, clear out any additional guys if they are trying to put a bunch on the field. But... I could not keep up with him, and he just sort of chip damaged me down to basically nothing the first time, meaning that my counter to that counter was just focused down his master, because he wasn't really making it more powerful very well unless I spent a ton of time trying to clear the field when he just, okay, he got more and more and more and more and more, and more guys out there over and over and over and over and over again, basically. <laughs> 
Overall, that was probably one of the more interesting matches that I've had. Still not, like, super into the game, but... At this point, I'm slightly invested. Ah, it's nice to see all the students growing up. Each and every one of them has, uh, has made progress one way or another since they started here. At this rate, not just Class 7, but all of our students will. Ah, uh, no one's here. <laughs> Looks like I've got the whole bat to myself. I hope that's okay. That's, yep, that's about what I was thinking. Someone who was like a girl that was giggling and also didn't seem overly confident. Yep, that sounded like Tita. Yeah, that's Tita's voice. She must be done with her maintenance. I guess the training must have moved her out. What? Did I say that out loud? No. Uh, Tita, are you okay? Uh, uh, instructor Rain, uh, I'm okay. I just slipped and fell into the bath. Uh, 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 stay calm and take deep breaths. Are you bleeding? I can go get Lind if you need her. <laughs> oh, at least I have enough like sense to be not not like I can go and I can go in there and help you. Or something like that. Uh, uh, sorry to cause so much trouble. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's fine as long as you're okay. You are sure you're okay. Right. If you've got even a little suspicion that you're hurt, you should go see the nurse. Uh, no, I'm okay. I really am okay, I promise. I think the worst thing that happened was I swallowed some of the water. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a relief then. But, you know, you really are dependable, Instructor Reen. Just now, you're quick to give good, clear advice. I can see why Misei and Yuna put their trust in you. Yes, trust, that's it. That's what it's called. Well, I've still got a lot to learn about being an instructor. I don't even know if Yuna and Ash have fully accepted me just yet. I don't think you should worry about that. Instructor Reen, you really remind me of my two favorite people. Are they the ones you were giving the presents to? Right, these two, they're... They're sort of like my big brother and sister. A calm and composed big brother. And a big sister as reliable and bright as the sun itself. I get the, f uh, I get the same feeling from you, Instructor Irene. Oh, I wonder why. You should meet Lloyd. Why, thank you. I'm honored. You're talking about uh, Stell and Joshua Bright, aren't you? Don't worry, I didn't get that from, like, the Intelligence Division or something. Their father, Brigadier General Cassie Sprite, also studied the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Oh, uh, yeah, that does sound familiar. I don't know him directly, but I've heard my master talk about him. That's why I know about those two. Joshua's originally from Erebonia, right? Yeah. both Bracers, so they tried to get into the Empire to help the Bracer killed, but for some reason, they couldn't get a permit from the authorities. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> probably the same reason Cassius has problems getting in, right? I see. They're probably under heavy surveillance along with your best friend. They're being treated as wild cards that could disrupt the political situation in Erebonia. I thought that might be the case. Both of them, no, all three of them, are amazing people who saved all the burrow from danger. Just like the birdcage around a crossbelt, they're being prevented from getting to Erebonia. Well, that's a little different, but I guess. Oh, why don't they have to? Oh, it'll be okay. A chance will come. I, I, I've seen, I've seen Art of Them being uh, updated. Art of Them for the Cold Steel games. They'll show up eventually. Uh, Hamel was blacked off for years, but we were able to take the whole branch campus there, right? Huh? I, and many others, are all working towards change here in Erebonia. Prince Oliver, the Bracers, people affiliated with Thors, even people in the Burn Crossbell, we're all working together. And I believe no matter how complicated, how frighteningly difficult this situation becomes, we'll overcome it. I know we will. So, take a deep breath, and keep doing what you can to help out. We'll change things one day. Y 
Yes, of course. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Ah, sorry to get on such a serious topic in the van. Probably didn't de-stress you nearly as much as you were hoping. Oh, no, it's okay. I feel better after talking with you about all this. Oh, I'm glad, then. I appreciate your determination. But don't forget you're still a student here. Aki told me to keep an eye on you and make sure you don't overdo it. And don't forget to be careful on the path, okay? <laughs> uh, I feel like I've got another person who worries about me now. It's like half the world. <laughs> I'll take that advice to heart. This, the being careful on the path part, particularly. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and we can use the, uh, Tina in battle, if just temporarily now, so... I guess it makes sense that you gotta... CP back? That path is nice. I'm really glad I got to talk to you, Instructor Reen. I'm going to keep working as hard as I can. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a cooking workshop in the cafeteria. I'll be a little late, but I need to go and make something. <laughs> she really puts her all into everything. Cooking workshop, though. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. I wish you would have invited me. I would have loved to see you perform. Oh, do they have a performance? Well, we weren't planning on having anyone watch today, but, you know, Leonor just sort of showed up. But it's fine. It's not like I'm trying to hide anything. You can come watch next time. Are, are you sure? Thank you. Okay. You're, like, performing now. Oh, well, it looks like she's, uh... <laughs> it's not really her thing, but it doesn't mean... See, that's the thing. It's like, there's a lot of things in life that may not seem like they would come naturally to you. But, in a sense, even if they're not the normal thing that you like, you, they could just be a nice change up. A nice thing to just expand your horizons and experience a little bit more of the world. Honestly, that's probably the biggest reason I like video games. Just the imagination and different, like, stories and whatnot that can go into them. While it's not really experiencing experiencing them, there's just so much you can get out of them. In terms of just, like, enjoying life and experiencing as much as you can, that sort of thing. Yo, ma, here's something intense happened over the training hall. You didn't hear anything happen in the bathroom recently? <laughs> you, were, you were standing right here, too. Yes, I miss out on a lot. Kind of wish I stayed to see it. <laughs> if you are there, you probably would have ended up sparring with the principal yourself. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, I wouldn't want to get in the way of the fight of the century. Is that why you're here training instead? <laughs> Gotta get rid of all this extra energy somehow. Come to think of it. I've never seen Randy's full potential. I bet he's just as amazing as the principal in his own way. Uh, it's interesting that we haven't fought with him at all outside of the... Outside of the sold-out stuff. But... What happens, happens. I'm sure we'll fight with everyone. I mean, literally everyone by the end of Cold Steel 4. <laughs> Which has been announced, by the way. I didn't really bring it up because, you know, you know, but... Yeah... Hey, Musei. Hmm, Jum, Dala, and Amo Thomas. Are those Vantage Master cards? Oh, what are you up to, Musei? Uh, oh, just a little fortune telling. With Vantage Master cards. I hear you can use these cards like uh, you would have tarot cards. Really? That's an interesting design for the card series if they're uh, that limited. <laughs> Where like you can only really fit in the tarot cards. Is there anything in the future you'd like to know about? The future? You mean like field exercises? <gasps> what happens to Cold Steel 4? <laughs> Something like that. Although I'm having trouble interpreting the meaning behind the cards. Let's just say it means your destiny is in your own hands. I'm not sure I got any clue either, but she seems to be deep in thought. Yeah. That sounds fun. Oh, I hear you're really good at Vantage Masters. How about we take a break and have a match? Why, I'd be honored to have a match against you, Instructor Reen. Another match. All I ask is that you be gentle with me. She probably let me win last time. Technically. <laughs> uh, and so Reen and Misei prepared their decks and began their duel. It was a fierce battle, with no clear winner right up to the final turn ended. And in the end... Our masters destroyed each other. That makes it a tie, no? I had that happen once. I had that happen once. 
Ah, uh, it did make it a tie. I drawled and, and it didn't really count as actually achieving anything. I didn't expect such a heart pounding match. You're an amazing instructor. So are those actual? I don't have the penguin in my deck. I do have the little top hat thing and I can't really tell what the third one is. On there. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's actually. I can't, I can't make out clearly what's actually on the field. <laughs> well, so are you, Musei. I remember thinking this when you were uh, at the casino in Raquel, but you sure are good at these kind of games, aren't you? Is it your grandfather's influence? Indeed, he taught me a lot about card and board games. My father would often play against me, too. Uh, before, he fa uh, before he passed away, that is. Your father? He passed away about ten years ago, didn't he? Yes, I was about five or six at the time. <laughs> he trained me so well. I would occasionally beat him in chess, too, when you were five or six. Not damn. Wow. So I guess even at a young age, you were talented. So, then, what are you planning to show us? Your true strength. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I could tell you weren't giving it all in our match. You were much more fearsome of an opponent when you went up against, uh, against the Jaeger at the casino. Like I said before, everyone in Class 7 supports each other. If they're giving it everything they've got on your behalf, isn't it unfair if you don't do the same? You truly really are amazing. I'd be more than honored to show you the full extent of my gaming abilities. However, there will be one condition. A condition? The winner will get to make one demand of the loser. Okay, within reason. Within reason. Um, that's... <laughs> a serious bout should feature a serious prize, wouldn't you agree? Should you manage to win, I'll do anything you ask. Anything at all. Whether your request is to spend a romantic evening with me under the stars, or if you want me to tell you the reason why Eustace and Patrick were acting the way they uh, the way they were in the mare. <gasps> I want to know that. I want to know that, actually. Are you telling me that they might be like lovers now? Patty Cakes and Eustace, getting it on. That must be it, right? 100%. Honestly, I was curious about that. Is something going on? That said, I'll put a handicap on myself. If you manage to defeat me once out of three games, you shall have your reward. However, if I win all three games, I shall be the victor and take you as my prize. Uh, wow, well, well. You're that confident, huh? I just need to win one out of three games. Even that might prove a challenge. Alright, I'll agree to your terms. There's no way I can back down now. I also don't think if she really actually is interested in Reen, she wants to start anything seriously on a premise of something that he doesn't want, so she's not going to do anything unreasonable. Let's be real there. Alright, let's get out of decks and do this. Well, very well. If that's what you want, then I won't hold back. And so the three matches began between Reen and the unfettered Musei. They both used unopened decks they hadn't seen before, though Reen was unfamiliar with the cards, the decks were equal in power, however. And a vanish to end the match. <laughs> Your master is defeated. <sighs> I activate Kyria Bell's skill and your master is no more. You got me again. <laughs> and this brings us to our final match. As things stand, I feel I'll be able to win this final match with ease. Man. This deck should be pretty even, but you're still destroying me. Even the experience of the games would make such a huge difference. Shock and all, right? <laughs> I sincerely doubt you'll be able to turn the tides at this point. Whatever we can do now. This is never a fair matchup to begin with, so if you forfeit now, I'll cancel our... No. It's still too early to throw in the town. I've got one card in my deck I can use to turn things around. 
but I managed to draw it before you defeat me. I can use it to make a comeback. And I draw Exodia, the Forbidden One! <laughs> Anyone else watch that as a kid? Oh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I watched that, I remember that. It was a good series. Except not really. Except really, and you know. Oh. I suppose you're right. Your chances of winning are far greater than zero. If only slightly. That's all I need. Unfortunately, I'm not the type to give up. Let's take this match to its end, you say. Bring it on. We can use every card in his hand to desperately parry each of Musei's advances. And at the final turn before his master's health was depleted, it arrived. I got it. I summoned Grayon. It attacks your master twice. Wait, you can can you do that in the same turn? My master's hand is uh, health is zero. I lose. <laughs> I actually did it. I'm guessing she held back just to see. Oh, I don't I don't actually believe I won that fair and square. Seems I underestimated you. I didn't think you could pull off such a comeback. Hmm. You underestimate me a lot, too. Then again. I had full control of the board. Yet you still managed to thread a narrow path to victory. <laughs> yeah. But it really came down to the wire. In the end, I had to rely on my luck. Your ability to analyze the situation and predict your opponent's actions is amazing. But not everything can be planned for. As we've seen in our field exercises, unexpected events can happen at any time. <laughs> Understood. It was a fine lesson, Instructor. I will keep it near to my heart. Now, what you have is your prize. I... Oh, come on. I was the one who set the rules for our matches, so please don't hold back. Tell me whatever it is that your heart desires. Though, I'm certain you'll plan to ask about... No, I won't. I am curious about the circumstances of Lemaire, but I'm sure there's an important reason that Eustace and Patty Cakes won't say anything. I don't feel like it's right for me to ask about it like this. But more importantly, that is able to bring out the best of you. Nothing can make me prouder as an instructor. Oh? <laughs> oh yes, how very like you, instructor. And that is the reason I want you for the future. Oh, okay. So, I, I'm still not entirely sure how serious she is. It goes back and forth between seeming like she's messing with me and having like little bits of like, yeah, she actually seems pretty serious. Hmm. And yet, a promise is a promise. Please choose one of these two co- <laughs> Uh... One of these seems objectively better than the other. One of these seems much more objectively better than the other. Huh? What are you up to? Oh, is this part of the fortune telling, maybe? Hmm. I don't remember. Okay, so technically, you could actually probably make. You could do something unique with the left side one because of the uptide card. But it's hard to deny. They're both utility cards, ultimately. The stronger attack isn't that big of a deal. The higher defense means it could stay and play and actually get things done. The fact that you get another card afterwards is also useful. It takes more energy, but. It's like, it feels objectively better, unless you have something very specific in mind. I choose five now. So, you win the, I'll wear my school uniform and clean your ears prize. Wait, what? What? Well, hold on a minute. I, I really don't need prize in. There's no use trying to refuse it. After all, it would bring shame to a woman of the empire were she not to keep her promises. No, that's not, a, no, you can just, no, not that. Surely not trying to make me do anything shameful, Instructor Reen. Uh, no, but... <laughs> well then, I'll go get changed. So please lie down. Uh... She wins in the end. Wait, what? That school uniform? 
And so Reen was forced to receive Musei's prize. It may have been relaxing, but... It, uh, it may have been relaxing if he didn't have to constantly be on the lookout for others. Just constantly, like, sensing the entire building. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Is anyone here? <laughs> oh, what, that doesn't, like, unlock her, like, um, Saint Astraea uniform? I didn't think that's what she was meaning when she was talking about school uniform. Well, that was... <laughs> that was one of the weirdest things. She ended up winning in the end anyways. <laughs> Do you like my special service? I put my whole heart into it just for you. I mean, I get that it was supposed to be relaxing, but... I think I ended up more stressed out than I was before. I see, so it didn't work. In that case, perhaps I could give you a little more thorough service. Your services are the reason I'm so stressed out in the first place. Oh my goodness. Mirsei. say. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Uh, all right. I vaguely remember some of the kids having a station working mother. Oh my, I came home early and found a rare sight. <laughs> Their little faces are so adorable when they're asleep. Well, it's a good thing this place is safe enough that you can trust no one to like kidnap them or some shit falling asleep in public like this. I mean, see my children like this makes me so happy. There are definitely some... Uh, the fishy car is super yummy. Oh no, they're totally in cult mode. Oh no. <laughs> they went and tired themselves out. Watching these pure innocent children resting after a long day, a play really makes my heart heal. Or it makes it heals my heart. What do you mean by that? Oh nothing. Did some shit go down? I should put a blanket over them so they don't catch a cold. Mm, interesting. Interesting. I wonder if one day we'll see them all grown up. I never actually looked at Freddy's picture before, but wow. Wow, that art just makes him very, very scary, doesn't it? It's interesting going through these. Most of these look like concept art. Then Tita. Tita's so much more detailed in her art. Uh, I actually sort of like the sort of rough style a lot of the students get. I sort of wish we had the same for uh, everyone else, too. Like, Tita can have her normal art, but she could also have an art like this. I quite like the style. Yeah, you are- you do seem like good friends, so... How- how are you doing? It seems like you're opening up to the people around you, at the very least, so... It's much easier to move on when you have people you can rely on. Thanks, Sabrina. It's good that she has someone like you in, uh, her life. Hey, Rian. Megan told me you know where your next field exercise is going to be. My sheer coincidence, I'll be, I'll be in Heim's old director Michael next week, too. Eh, perhaps our bounce will cross. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> what, am I that obvious? It's just what my recent proposal to director Michael and his embassy. I thought it might be interesting to interview the Thor students at any Heimdall summer festival. Never had any intention of trying to catch a glimpse of Princess Alvin or anything. Uh-huh. Monk, you and Vivi are both in Coracle. <laughs> eh, it's a million to one chance. But, you know, that's a shot I'm willing to take. <laughs> oh, Alfin's totally gonna show up, isn't she? Oh, yes, she is. Oh, who's a good dog? Who's a, looks like you're cleaning up? Good work. Oh, my goodness. Cerberus is... Cerberus is the best animal character in, like, the entire damn series, I swear. I love the little guy. And that's everything Mitch wanted me to tell you. Hmm. Sounds like we're getting a big sticky over there. But yeah, I gotcha. Robbie Gav over here, too. Yes, please do. I'm guessing they were talking about something related to the briefing. Enemy forces are infiltrating Heimdall on a large scale. Even more military strength than our friends in Ouroboros. Bearable to Erebonia. I have been feeling like we've been prepping for a war, so... It would be at least surprising if Calvert wasn't doing the same. Hmm. Oh, Reen, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing much. There are just some things I was concerned about. Looks like you don't hear errands. Are we ahead of time, don't know? Yep, that's the plan. I'm not in a huge hurry or anything, though. I was thinking I'd have a chat with the professor. Maybe check out this famous keep I've been hearing so much about. So fired up from earlier. 
Thought he'd blow up some scene with a bit of training. Oh. So you should uh, probably kick back and relax for today, though. I'll be looking forward to seeing you in Heimdall again. She's still fired up. Maybe I should join her. Nah. Honestly, I'm not in the mood for that at the moment. I could just straight up buy this. I think I never even used the previous one, either. Eh. It's just like a free level up, right? Honestly, the idea of a free level up and just like getting two of them in the game. You buy one cheap, you get another one, it's like... Uh, why? Like, the series has always had like pretty good scaling XP to keep you at a level that's like comparable. And then your setup on your character will do 99% of it after that. It's weird that that's a thing in this game. You wanna buy something? Honestly, the more I think about it, it's also sort of weird that Shining Palms were ever a thing. Like, I get that grinding was a thing and whatnot, especially for... I guess it was more for, uh, Sepeth than it was anything else, but... Honestly, the, the games have been so tailored towards not grinding. It's only gone away over time. Uh, ooh. Have I not... Oh, interesting. Come on, buy some more! I don't think, uh, blue hair. All right, got it! Huh. That looks like... Tio, right? She had yellow eyes, right? Been a while since I thought about that. Oh, have I not seen this yet? Blonde hair. Okay. How familiar is that? So very familiar. And Tita's in my... Oh my goodness, I can give her... I can give her costume items. Uh, I think I'm... I've, uh, played out the... With... Out, uh, cape a bit at this point. So that's probably fine to leave off for a little bit. Oh my, Tita's... Oh, okay. That makes sense. Here, what, what would be the dumbest thing on her? <laughs> actually, fits actually sort of weirdly. These are still just like the weirdest fucking costume options for a lot of these. Feels like they could have done better at actually making things that are interesting from like an aesthetic perspective. Because the main reason I like costumes in this game is to just switch it up, basically. Things that look normal. Just like a different style, because people don't wear the same clothes all the time, basically. Uh, these were funny when I first saw them, but... Uh, not really so much anymore. I wonder if the actual, like, stuff here changes based on what seeds you've, uh, acquired, or if it's always the same. Hmm. You two can still go, right? Of course, let's keep this up till the sun sets. <laughs> Bring it on. From the looks of it, you guys really miss being able to practice, huh? Oh, Instructor Reen. We sure did. It sucked being stuck indoors for so long. On the top of that, we're having a rematch of the high school we played last month. We were just barely able to beat them last time, but... We're pretty sure they're training hard to get revenge. So we can't afford to sit around. We gotta be ready for them. That's good. Uh, that's a good mindset. Hmm. You actually managed to win. Props for being so new at all this. Train hard and show them what you've got. That's a plan. Nice. Well, good luck, all. Oh, still working, are you? Our next field exercise is in Heimdall. I knew this was coming, but I'm still worried about Calvert. It is unsettling. We'll really need to be ready for anything while we're there. And that's not the only thing bothering me. I know George is busy, but we haven't been able to get hold of Angie either, really. Oh, that's promising. Well, knowing this series, they're not about to kill her off, but... You know... Bad shit might be happening. Knowing Angie, though, she's probably in a big fight with Marcus Ragnar or something. That would make sense for her. Right? I'm sure we'll hear from her when things settle down a little. You should probably contact Marcus Rodner and ask him. I'm probably making a big. Uh, I'm probably making a big deal over nothing. I can see her rolling up on her bike out of the blue. By the time we finish this conversation, that means just Angelica. <laughs> you got a point. Oh, Angie, Angie, no. Your reputation is betraying you. Oh no. Oh no. Principal. <coughs> oh, <coughs> uh, principal. I want to uh, thank you for earlier. Oh my goodness, my voice. 
Uh, if you've got time to thank me, train harder, and join me at the heights of skill, I'll be the ultimate thanks. Got it. I'll give it my all. Me like some tea. If you prefer coffee, that's fine too. Oh, no, please don't worry about me. I'm not that thirsty. But, Principal, you seem to have mellowed out a bit since you started here. Yes, honestly, I'm surprised myself. This will be a new beginning for me as well. I look forward to talking to you once you've reached this point. I'll give it everything I have. Okay, so that probably was what she was talking about earlier. When uh, we had that whole bath time conversation. It wasn't like she like knew something was coming in terms of the threats of the country. It's just that she's concerned about having someone that she could fight from the Eight Leaves One Blade school. That could be actually at her level. Okay. And because she can't get Arios or Cassius here, it's like, Rain, you're the next best thing. Get there quickly, please. Uh. I wonder. Have I changed at all since I came here? Have I gotten any stronger? It's only been a few months. I don't think it's early enough for you to really be uh, worrying about that. Oh, Rain, I'm sorry. I was lost in thought. Oh, that's nothing to apologize about. I'm sorry to eavesdrop like that. But listen, Lynn, it's only been half a year since you became a medical intern. Yeah, but that's including the time you weren't spending here, too. You can't let your worries get the best of you, whether about me, students, or anything else. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Actually, I was just about to put together a report for St. Ursula Medical College. The chief nurse there, Cecil, is such a kind person. She's really been looking out for me. Uh, I might still be green for now, but I hope one day I can make her proud. See you I don't remember an E in how the um, translation I uh, played spelled it, but... I, I think that's basically how I pronounce it anyways, so... Yeah. <gasps> Michael. Michael! Michael! You want us to use that model for the next Panzer Soldat training? For what purpose? I'm guessing Major Irving's talking to the Imperial Army. Uh, he seems to be upset about something. I think we heard about this already. Guess what? How will we transport it? Oh. 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 It's one of the big ones. It's one of the big ones. Oh my goodness. It's one of those, isn't it? One of the, like big turret ones that, uh, what's-his-face, the, the guy terrorist we used in Cold Steel 2. Ooh. Interesting. I'm willing to bet on it just based on that comment. Kurt, what are you reading? A letter I received just this month. Like, I was thinking, like, maybe there was, like, a Divine Knight or something, like, trying to emulate a Divine Knight or something, I don't know. But then when, when he said that, it's like, oh, I forgot about those. A letter I received just this morning from my brother. He's currently at uh, Zender Gate in the Nord Highlands. Oh, Lieutenant Colonel Mueller. I see. It's been a while since I've seen him. Is he doing well? Yes, though it seems there have been an increasing number of skirmishes with the Republic as of late. Seems he's hard at work alongside everyone from the 7th Armored Division. I see. Well, it's good to hear he's still doing alright. Indeed. I must work hard as well, so as to not lose to my father and brother. Yeah, this feels like a good one. Just based on how he's acting. Hey, Kurt, how about we train together for a bit? Hmm? Aren't you exhausted from your match with the Viscount and the Principal? <laughs> I'll just think of this a cool down. And I think it'll be a good refresher for you. What do you say? I you say so. Since I have the opportunity, I'll join you. And Reen returned to the training hall for a little sparring. Uh. Oh, and he's the tired one. What's wrong? Don't tell me that's all you've got! <sighs> uh. You're not as sharp as you usually are. What was in that letter from Lieutenant Colonel? From your brother! Secrets from you. Are there, Instructor Rena? It's not so much about what the letter contains as what it doesn't. Mueller shows no signs of indecision or reticence. I think that's how you pronounce that. 
If Evo rears his head before him, he'll cut it down. And he'll do so with honor. He's always been this way. And even now, torn from Prince Oliver's side and sent to the front lines, he doesn't display so much as a hint of hesitation. Not only that, but after discerning my worries about Prince Cedric and the future of House Vander, he simply wrote, Kurt, we Vanders are not defined by our legacy. The choices you make will shape the legacy you leave behind. Your brother... is one hell of a man. That he is. Though I must admit, his letter hit me like a punch. Even with his reassurance, I still don't know if I'll be able to leave a legacy my own. I'm just nipping at the heels of my father and brother. Even when I get close enough to sink my fangs in, I hesitate. You're treating hesitation like it's something to be ashamed of. Is it not? Well, looking back on it... <laughs> I've hesitated my entire life. As a student, when I was fighting the Civil War, even when people started hailing me as the Ashton Chevalier. But the thought I put into my action, that care and worry helped me find my direction and become an instructor. Kurt, think about everything you and the rest of Class 7 have overcome. If that's not a legacy, I don't know what is. I... Right. I don't think my moments of hesitation were wasted. On the contrary, I think it's dangerous to advance without a moment of forethought. Yeah, I'm positive your father and brother are no strangers to hesitation themselves. So, you can hesitate too. Hesitate, think, and plan all you want. Once you're ready to act, you'll be ready to carve out your own legacy. <laughs> Understood. Now, instructor. I say we've hesitated enough. It's time to spar. Yeah, bring it on. Here I come, Kurt. <laughs> They're about to headbutt. And the two continue to fight as skirt skills regain their sharpness. Until... There. Yeah! Yeah, we good there. You feeling a little better now? <laughs> I've still got a long way to go. Please continue to assist me in the future, Instructor Reen. Yeah, of course. Well, that's good. It's good that he is able to, uh... Ooh. Ooh, a little itty bit more. Little itty bit more. Oh well. I was actually farther along that than I thought I was. I'm impressed, Instructor. You got your breath back there in mere minutes. It's almost as though we never sparred. <laughs> Rest assured, I'm just as exhausted as you. That's definitely enough training for me today. <sighs> well, that makes me feel a little better, at least. In any case, I'll stay here a bit and take a breather. Thank you for everything today, Instructor Reen. Of course, don't worry about it. Yeah, moments like that make me really happy, Reen Game Teacher. He's, he's good at it. <laughs> 